Good evening, everyone. Hope everyone is well. Thank you again for joining our daily halacha. We'll continue talking about the halachas of the nine days. So we mentioned that during the nine days, one is supposed to limit activities that bring simcha, that bring joy, and therefore, and purchases that bring joy should not. Uh, therefore, one is not permitted to purchase things that bring joy. For instance, silver, uh, uh, silver or jewelry or things like that, a person is not allowed to purchase during the nine days. Um, similarly, uh, um, doing construction in one's home, uh, one would not be permitted to do. Uh, building, building a vacation home or something like that, which is not necessary for one's living needs, is also forbidden during the nine days. Um, things which, however, are needed for your basic living for instance, uh, let's say your let's say a person didn't have a house, and uh, he was renting a house, whatever, and he had the, the the closing worked out during the nine days. He's allowed to move into a into a home, into a brand new home, because that's basic living needs, and therefore he would be permitted to do it, even though it does cause a person great simcha. Uh, hopefully, um, uh, doing things like decorating, uh, wallpapering, painting things like that, beautifying one's home, that is forbidden. Um, needless to say, beautifying a, uh, a, a, um, a vacation home as well is also forbidden. Uh, building a patio, uh, uh, things which, again, is also not something which is needed for living. Uh, a patio or outside or things like that, uh, which is not needed for a living, it's a nice thing to have, it's a nice patio outside, but that is forbidden as well during the nine days. If there was damage in someone's house, for instance, let's say a wall was, a wall was uh, crumbling or, or a leak uh, sprung or something, even if it would be in someone's vacation home, uh, and if you would leave it, it would cause uh, further damage during the nine days, he would be permitted to repair it. Decorating a shul uh, or painting a shul or something like that, beautifying a shul uh, or a base medrash or a yeshiva, that would be permitted even during the nine days because that's for a dvar mitzvah. Now, an interesting shayla comes up. Like, what happens if a person hired a non-Jew before the nine days, before Rosh and the work is not done uh, during the nine days? Can the, uh, can the worker continue doing the work for you uh, during the nine days? So the halacha brings down that one uh, should try to talk the worker out of working during the nine days to postpone, maybe has a different job you could do during the, during the nine days, you could work with somebody else and postpone your job to left at Tisha B'Av, something like that. Uh, if he could do that, he definitely should and is obligated to do that. If, even if it would cost him a little bit more money, you pay him off, you know, give him, he's doing a job for you and he say, listen here, I'll give you a hundred bucks, give you, you know, a small amount of money, if you'll just uh, delay the job till after, after the nine days, one is obligated to do that as well. However, if he, if he refuses, and you know, or he's, I guess, or if he's holding you hostage for, uh, so give me ten thousand dollars and I'll do it. He asks you for a lot of money. Then one is not obligated to do that, and one can have the guy uh, continue working for you in your in your. Um, one could have the. Oh, I'm sorry about that. One could have the guy continue working for you in your uh, in your house. If he, again, if he was contracted before the nine days and the work extended and he would not take a small amount of money to stop or he would not be convinced to stop and postpone the job till after, um, till after Tisha B'Av. Okay, we'll hold it here. Thank you for joining and have a wonderful evening. Take care.